In this video, we'll look at whether the chemical bonds in graphite are ionic or covalent bonds. So the first thing to note is that graphite, it's just made up of carbon, just C, that's carbon. So if we look at the periodic table, carbon right here, carbon is a non-metal. So graphite consists of only carbon, these carbon atoms bonded together. Since we have only carbon, carbon's non-metal, we're gonna have a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. So the bond will be covalent. If we looked at graphite, the structure of graphite, we'd see that it's called a giant covalent structure. Let's look at that. So each one of these spheres here, these are carbon atoms and they're all bonded together. These are all single bonded carbon atoms and a pair of electrons is shared between them because we have a covalent bond. Graphite's really interesting because we end up with these sheets, these large sheets of carbon atoms bonded in this pattern here. It's helpful to look at it in three dimensions. So you can see here in this model, three-dimensional model, that we have sheets of these carbon atoms bonded together in graphite. So it's made up of these sheets. So in the animation, you see the sheets of carbon, they actually can slide over each other fairly easily. That makes them kind of a good lubricant, often used in locks. So if you have a key that's having trouble going in a lock, take a pencil, pencil lead that's made of graphite, and rub that on the key and often it'll make the key work. So we have this kind of lubricant property of graphite because of the sheets. It also conducts electricity and it's a fairly soft type of compound. So to recap, because we have only carbon atoms, carbon that's a nonmetal, when we have nonmetals bonded together, we have a covalent bond. In this case, the covalent bond is what we call a giant covalent structure because we have lots of these carbon atoms here bonded together in a large structure. This is Dr. B talking about the type of bond in graphite. It's a covalent, also called a molecular bond. Thanks for watching.